Do you believe? Do you believe that God is still doing miracles? Thanks for joining me on my morning prayer walk. It's a beautiful fall, autumn morning, and we're studying 100 days of signs, wonders, and miracles. Every day is a miracle. Every day the sun rises. Every day God blesses us. But not everybody believes that miracles are for today. They believe that God opened up the Red Sea for Moses. That God shut the mouth of the lion for Daniel. They believe that David stood against Goliath. But what about today? Is God still doing miracles today? When we come to the Gospels, we read about the incredible signs, wonders, and miracles of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus raised the dead, healed the blind. Jesus gave the keys to the kingdom to the apostles, specifically Peter. There is more written about Peter in the Gospels than any other apostle that Jesus discipled. And when we come to the book of Acts, what do we see? We see the answer to the question, is God still doing miracles? We see that God is doing miracles and he's doing those miracles through the apostle Peter. In Acts chapter 2, on the day of Pentecost, the Bible actually records they were doing many miracles. Jesus had already ascended to be with the Father, and the Holy Spirit was poured out upon all believers. Right here in the book of Acts chapter 2. And as the Holy Spirit became a special, developed a special work in the hearts of the early church, do you know what we see? We see signs and we see wonders and we see mighty miracles of God. It's all found in Acts chapter two, Peter and John and the other disciples. They were doing mighty miracles in the early New Testament church. And when we continue reading through the book of Acts, we come to chapter 15 and here Paul and Barnabas who had become believers and were now leading ministries and small groups and starting churches everywhere. Do you know what the Bible says in Acts 15? They were doing mighty signs, wonders, and miracles. From the Old Testament to the New Testament, from the Gospels to the birth of the early church and the book of Acts, God has always done signs, wonders, and miracles miracles. What's on my heart today as I've been studying in the Bible about signs, wonders, and miracles is 1 Corinthians chapter 12. I don't want you to be ignorant, Paul wrote. I don't want you to neglect what God is doing through the work of the Holy Spirit. He writes that God's Holy Spirit brings these spiritual gifts that flow through each one of our lives. And it actually says in this passage of scripture, each of us, including you, has a spiritual gift. What is a spiritual gift? Oh, read through 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses one and following, and you'll quickly realize that healing is a spiritual gift from the Holy Spirit. That Miracles are a spiritual gift from the Holy Spirit. Do you know what that means today for you? As real as the sun rises, the Holy Spirit is working in our world today and he's working through you. In the same way, Moses held up his staff and the Red Sea stopped. In the same way that Moses took and struck the rock and water poured out a great miracle, God is still working. The same miracle working power of Christ is in, in, is in our world today through the work of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Today, God's going to do a miracle. God is going to do signs and wonders all around us. What we must do is be in alignment with him. 
we must be in alignment with the Holy Spirit. We must let our lives be filled and overflowing with God's Spirit and speak the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I love my morning devotional time with the Lord. It lets me realign my priorities of what God has for me today. It gives me a chance to remember you in prayer. On my morning walk, I've already received phone calls of people that are in the hospital. They need a miracle all around us. Father God, we bow our heart in this open field on this beautiful autumn morning. Lord, we stand in your presence right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I lift Teresa up to you. I lift Norma up to you. I pray for Dennis and Ruth, Almighty God. I remember Ed and Linda today. I remember Father Kathy and Virginia. Lord, in the power of the name of Jesus, there are needs all around us. People need a miracle. We release your Holy Spirit for where two or three are gathered in your name, there you are in our midst. We touch heaven's throne this morning through the power of the name of Jesus. And we receive miracles on behalf of those that are suffering, those that are going through tremendous pain. God, heal them. Give to them a miracle, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I believe in miracles, and I know that you do. Reach out in the name of Jesus and believe for a miracle in someone's life today.